Hello everyone, with the printers getting very close to actually arriving here, I thought I should make a video about some of the upcoming mods, projects, uh, video series, etc. to the channel, so this video is just that, so stuff I have planned, stuff I have in the works behind the scenes. When my printers and other stuff arrive here, I will stop the workshop series after making one or two more episodes or something like that. Uh, most of you aren't really interested in that anyway, so that means there will be more 3D printing content, so that should be good news, but I do want to bring that series to a conclusion because there's still some stuff I want to do that I think is interesting and I'd like to document that. Uh, after that, uh, and during that time as well, the printer series will continue. As I said, I... S as the video... I <laughs> Yeah, as I said uh, in the last video, I'm starting to build a Micron, so uh, I ordered the Micron kit from DFH and that series will start. If you want more information about the Micron, you can watch that unboxing video, but essentially, just to keep it very short, it's a tiny Boron Zero sized-ish Boron 2, and uh, yeah, if you want more information, you can watch that video. And even that series, just like the most of the rest of my videos on the channel, is about modding the printers, so I was going to start with a bunch of mods. Uh, one of that is the one of them is the pins mod, as I said in that video, and the PT100. I'm also ordering uh, MGN7 rail backers, just like the MGN9 backers on the Warum uh, 2. Uh, yeah, I'll start with those and obviously add a lot more mods. I'll probably do the clicky. I don't know what after that, but probably significantly more. You know the, what I do on this channel, like mod the shit out of 3D printers. So uh, yeah, I'm sure there will be more. But uh, speaking of modding the shit out of 3D printers, the Voron 2. For the Voron 2, there are a lot in the works. The initial plan for the Voron 2 is to reprint the entire gantry on my Voron 0 with the Voron 2 R Voron 2.4 R2 parts. So just the revision 2, which improves uh, the parts slightly, like minor improvements to the uh, front idlers, for example, and a few things like that. So. Uh, do that with the pins mod as well and the GE5C mod which uh, uses spherical bearings instead of those plastic parts riding on each other for the Z axis so for quad gantry leveling and things like that it should be better in theory the GE5C mod uh, for that uh, the bearings I ordered like months ago way before I moved here so that was in the works for a while but just never got around to doing it and also for the stealth burner, so I won't print the bad new uh, toolhead anymore, I'll just print the stealth burner. And after all of this is done, I will finally finish the skirts. I know it's been a while, but I will finish them. And after that I will do the Nevermore Max, uh, the second version, and the Air Measure with Project Carrot Feeder. For the Air Measure with Project Carrot Feeder, I will just reprint the whole thing because A, my print, printed parts on the Air Measure with Project Carrot Feeder sucked, and B, there is a new version of the Enration Project Carrot Feeder released, so just reprinting the whole thing is the way to go. So I'll just do that. And as I said, the Nevermore Max also requires a complete reprint because there is a new version of that released as well. After all that is done, I'll reprint the entire gantry with CFPPA or some other high temperature material. Well, this is meant to be a high temperature capable 3D printer. This is a Doom Cube, so. I want something that's more durable than ABS for the parts, so yeah, I'll probably use CFPPA or maybe something a bit cheaper, I don't know, but something that will work well with high temperature is the idea. Moving on to the Tinyam, uh, the Tinyam was really close to its first test run, but after the, I do that and you know see how that goes, I will reprint the entire thing in ABS again because there are some uh, changes I wanted to make to the uh, printed parts, most of which are already on GitHub, by the way, they're already published, so if you're uh, considering building my TinyM, then uh, the revision parts are already on GitHub, and uh, I don't know, if I encounter other problems with my printed parts, then I might need to do more uh, changes as well. After the second revision in ABS, then I will finally print the parts in CFPPA, and after that we will move on to uh, air filtration and chamber heating possibly or you know, something like that something that involves high temperature 3d printing and i'll probably do the air filter as well because uh, even most uh, filaments aren't that great to print to begin with and higher temperature materials are usually worse so i'd like to filter that so yeah probably both of them uh, moving on to the boron zero the boron zero is probably the least exciting one because the idea of for the Voron Zero for now is to sort of retire that series, not permanently, but 
if, if you follow the channel for a while, you know that I start multiple 3D printer projects at the same time and disassemble all of my 3D printers and something obviously goes wrong and then I'm fucked and I have to order MGF parts or something like that. It's the best case scenario, which takes time and money obviously, so I want to have a backup printer is what I'm getting at. So I will fix the Boron Zero, there is a problem with the MGN7 rail on that as I also mentioned in the Micron video. And uh, after I replace that MGN uh, MG7 rail, I'll sort of stop uh, modifying the Boron Zero. I think I did most of the mods I wanted to do for the Boron Zero anyway. But uh, once some major mod gets released for the Boron Zero that I'm interested in, or if the Boron 0.2 or something gets released, then I will definitely continue the series. I'm not abandoning the series to be clear, just uh, want to have a backup printer is the idea. And that series will be replaced with the Micron, as I said. I'm also working on a new PCB design, the new ADX 345 MCU. The, if you followed the channel for a while, you might remember the first one. I used an STM32 F103 as an MCU on a PCB, and I used the off the shelf ADX 345 modules that you just slotted on top, it's kind of like a step stick. And what that PCB dot did was it allowed you to connect a USB C connector and you know, mount it on the tool head as well, obviously. and you know, very easily do your input shaper measurements and you know, do, do your tuning. Uh, the idea is to, again, do the next version of that. And this time I will use the Raspberry Pi 2040 instead of the STM32 F103, which is unobtainium right now. RP2040 is cheap and it is available. I will also include the ADXL 345 on the PCB directly this time because the last time it wasn't available from JLC PCB, that's why it didn't include it. This time it is available, so I included it on the PCB. And actually, I ordered the PCBs already from JLC PCB, and they're already shipped. So uh, yeah, I will be testing the ones I ordered pretty soon. But I don't want to go into too much details about that just yet because well, I'm not really an experienced PCB designer. So good chance that I didn't do something right and the PCB doesn't work. So. Uh, yeah, I won't go too much into the details of that project yet. Once it works well, I will uh, post multiple videos about that. Also, I ordered an ES15 electric screwdriver, so a review of that will be coming to the channel pretty soon as well. I did a review of the ES121 back in the day, and I really liked that thing, but I ended up killing that thing when I tried to... Uh, when I was trying to replace the battery on that, I opened the thing but damaged the USB uh, micro connector on it and when I tried to resolder that on the PCB, I destroyed the whole PCB. So, uh, yeah, I needed something new and you know, it just happens that the S15 has been released in the past uh, few months as well. So, it was perfect timing for the S15, so I ordered one and uh, yeah, a review of that will come to the channel. I will also make the air filter video that I talked about a while ago. The air filter video is about uh, well, air filtration. I will. Uh, the plan was to talk about not only the air filter air filters available for the Boron 3D printers, like the Nevermores and the exhaust filters and things like that, but I also go into the differences between recirculating filters and exhaust filters, and go uh, go into detail about what, uh, for example, what. The active carbon filter does versus what HEPA does and uh, you know things like that so that video has been in the works for like six months or something but I basically started from scratch multiple times because I wasn't too happy about how it was going so uh, at some point I'm going to make that video as well and I've seen some interest in the comments as well about that video so that is going to happen also plan to make dedicated videos about major Boron mods, so the things like the Pins mod or the MGN9 backers or the Sex Bolt or I don't know Doom Cube or and you know things like that. Take the major Boron mods that a lot of people are interested in. Galileo is another example. The reason I want to do that is because well I do most of these mods in my Boron 3D printer series anyways, but those series are more like vlogs and less about informative content about the mods. So. You know, if you want information about a specific mode, if you watch my video, it's not doesn't really tell you much, especially because well, I do half of the mode in that episode, and the next episode I do some other mode and then come back to it, and you know. So if you want informative content on that, it's really difficult to follow. Uh, the reason I do what I do is because I think it's interesting. I show you my mistakes. I show what I'm working on. So the idea is to make those uh, shorter but uh, more concentrated and uh, videos about. Uh, mod so this is the mod it does this 
and this is how you do the mod and then this is the result yeah, and you know here are the links to the github repository basically so uh, i think that will be uh i think that's a nice addition to the channel so let me know what you think about that but i think it will work and also you can let me know about some of the mods you want me to cover these plus a lot more are in the works i have an idea list of about 40 video ideas or something like that so there is definitely a lot in the works stay tuned for that that's it for this video and thanks for watching